bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Mum. Nice to have you along this hour as we are on location in the beautiful uh, restored library in Lewis and Clark High School. Talking about another great high school today, Shadle Park. And Dr. Mark Anderson is here with us, Associate uh, Assistant Superintendent, District 81. Thanks so much. You know, Thanks, I drive by Shadle Park many times a week, right. and it has been in under construction for as long as I can remember. But you're telling <laughs> me all good things must come to an end. That's true. We are finishing the three-year project of renovating uh, Shadle Park High School. It'll be finished uh, for a grand reopening uh, on Friday night, August 27th, and Saturday, August 28th. And it's been a wonderful project that uh, is, I think, going to make a uh, the Spokane community very proud. Oh, it's beautiful, and it, I can't believe how much it has changed. Give us a, an idea. Well, you know, Shadle Park originally was built in 1957, and uh, we have, uh, uh, it has a need, you know, a great need to be updated. Uh, we've actually uh, turned the schools around, and now the front door, instead of facing Ash, will face its namesake, Shadle Park. Because so that's the a, street I commute on, and correct, I can see why right. you'd want to get the entrance on. Right, the it's side. very busy. Over the years, that street has gotten more and more of a mm -hmm. major, you know, arterial. So uh, we have a new promenade that goes down the uh, between the school and the uh, park, with a new parking lot for students and a beautiful new front entry that faces the park. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing the the folks who live on the side streets of Shadle are glad that the students have a place to park. They now. will appreciate the increased yeah. parking. We're getting students off the the side streets. Um, Shadle, uh, you know, it's been a major renovation. It's, it's the last of our major projects from the 2003 bond that voters passed to start this long-range plan of improving our old schools. Um, Rogers High School was another big uh, project out of that uh, 2003 bond. We mm -hmm. built oh, three elementary schools. Stuff there. Uh, and she, of course, Lewis and Clark, where we are today, was out of the 1998 bond. So we've been doing a nice job of upgrading our old high schools and getting them up to up to snuff. You know, and speaking of Lewis, Lewis and Clark, I have to mention, as, as we've been here today, so many people have mentioned what a great remodel. Because, you know, when you're working with something from the turn of the previous century, right. you could do it well or not, and Correct. everyone has complimented that Oh, that's process. great. Hey, but back to Shadle Park. Uh, you've you got some kind of high-powered alums coming in. You're going to do, do a dedication yeah. of an a amazing volleyball coach. Right. Tell us more. Well, on Saturday, the dedication starts at 1 o'clock. And that's and, the 28th of and August. And that's the 28th, Saturday the 28th. It'll be preceded by a picnic sponsored by Spokane Teachers Credit Union and a Corvette show down the promenade. Then at 1 o'clock we'll be uh, dedicating uh, the actual gym court to one of our great uh, female coaches, Linda Sheridan, who was the winningest high school basketball and volleyball coach uh, in the state. Uh, she's produced many uh, of the current coaches uh, that are around the Spokane region. We're players of hers. Oh, I know Judy Kite at yeah. Mead, who's done pretty well right. for herself. Right. So not only a lot of great players, but a lot of great, great coaches. Great coaches came yeah. out of Linda. So we're going to dedicate the court to Linda, plus dedicate the rededicate the school. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dr. Robert Shelton, who's a 1966 grad, is currently president of the University of Arizona. And Dr. Shelton will be bringing a, a few words, uh, plus we have some uh, uh, Vietnam War veterans, Shadle Park mm -hmm. grads, who'll be uh, presenting uh, flags that flew over the White House uh, oh, nice. to the school, and so it's going to be just a real nice affair. I think you got that, that Mark Rippin guy's dropping in another alum. Yeah, another alum, well an in. NFL football star, Mark Rippin, yeah. will be actually Friday night at a ribbon cutting, which is going to start at six o'clock. Hey, real quick, we just have about a minute left. Uh, moving on from Shadle, you've got projects again that the voters have. Uh, we do. Uh, the voters uh, felt we did a good job out of the 2003 project. They passed another bond issue. In 2009, uh, Ferris High School is the big project scheduled for the uh, 2009 through 15 time period. We're just finishing the design of that. We've got three, uh, four elementary schools that we'll be doing, uh, Hutton, uh, Jefferson, uh, Westview, and Finch. Uh, so a number of uh, additional projects, plus uh, projects at every school, smaller mm -hmm. projects to keep them up. So keep we have a number current. of projects going that, that'll go between 2009 mm -hmm. and 2015. So hopefully we'll be back here in a few years uh, talking about Ferris High School's uh, Yeah, or uh, we'll be shooting there. But that's yeah. great because obviously supporting kids in their education yes. and providing up-to-date facilities, very important. Well, Mark, great to have Steve, you here. Appreciate you your time. Stay tuned. CNN Headline News, top of the hour.